Well, hi. <laughs> Thanks for asking to help you get some uh, money and help to buy a house. Yep. And Georgia is really, uh, oh, I have fond memories of Georgia. So thanks for helping me recall those memories. Now, make sure you read that. You see the first video you know, that we have there, and it's before this one that you're watching now. And that really tells you what to look at in this thing uh, as you go through it and what to do next. But these videos, uh, actually, there's two parts of this video. I'm going to cover first part it is all the government and nonprofit organizations where you live, you know, just in your city and county and, and, and state. And a lot of it's in the city and, and county level, you know, that's available. So that's why these things are very important because, you know, it's so hard to do that part, you know, because it's really like uh, panning for gold, you know, and getting information like this. And then the second half, Actually, I'm going to stop. I'm going to run up and change my clothes and put on another suit for you so you don't get really bored. And we're going to cover the Internet and what's going on there to use it for uh, uh, for buying and fixing up property to be a house flipper if you want to do that. <laughs> I think there was a movie called Flipper, wasn't it? Uh, you know, flipping houses or, or just, you know, for yourself or buying one, uh, four family houses and living in one and making money off the other. You know, in the long run, even though the real estate bust, you know, if you look at the long run, particularly I think if you live in these things, you know, is a good way to look at it. Or if you make a, a, a career out of it, then that's a different idea too. But trying to make a whole bunch of money, you know, part time without, you know, living in it, I think, well, may or may not be. Who the hell knows? But <laughs> don't trust any expert, even me. But <laughs> not what to do. But what's there, I could tell you what reality is and where these programs are. So that's why in the second uh, video, I show you about, you know, crowdfunding. And shared economy, peer to peer, all these places that are cool, easier to get money from than the banks or even the government and stuff like that. So it really becomes a two prong approach to do anything nowadays. So let's get to it. Uh, okay, after the introduction video, you get into the local sources. And the local sources, the first one up is man, if you just put up $1,000, you could get up to $60,000 to construct a new home. Man, and no payments for 30 years. <laughs> I mean, you'll have a mortgage payment on the rest, but, but on the $60,000, you won't. Man, that's a local problem. Now, that's what I mean. To me, the whole thing about this, who would have known to ask? <laughs> and, and that's the thing. So, and, and that's why when you go through this stuff, even though they don't have exactly what you want, go and ask anyway to see because there may be something, you know, hiding under a file drawer that hasn't been put on the web yet. Okay, here's two programs, uh, again, where you just come up with $1,000 and get up to $10,000 for down payment and closing costs. And your payments are deferred, again, for 30 years. See, this is all encouraged. So some of it is first time home buyers. And a first time home buyer really means that you have not bought a home and owned a home in three years. You know, so it could be a second time or third time. And, and so that's just some, some program. So check all the programs anyway uh, to make sure. Funding for developers of affordable housing. So if you want to make a house, you know, and then, then uh, give it to the government to, to, to get tenants for you and they pay the bill. See, they're looking for that kind of help. You know, and, and if you don't do that, then people don't get a place to live uh, because the, the government needs those uh, houses that people like you would build. So they could put people in them and they pay the rent. Okay, grants and low interest loans for minor repairs. Okay, minor repairs. Even if you don't have any minors living in, the, in your house, <laughs> these are little repairs. Okay. Loans for landlords to fix up their rental property. Now, who would have thought? So if you're a, re you know, a landlord and you have a rental property, here's money just to fix up your rental property. Or $2,000 forgivable loan with low interest mortgage for people who live and work in Savannah. They want people not to commute. They want you to live there, work there. So actually, this is a program actually your employer can use too. So they give you $2,000 to make sure you find a house near work. So you can just walk to work, eliminate all that nonsense about commuting and the frustration and all that kind. And here's $2,000 for commercial property owners. Maybe you're living in a commercial property. I don't know. Uh, but it's something to put on your uh, 
you know, underneath your hat in case you need to bring it out someday. Tell other people about these things. Uh, property owners to plant trees on their property. Two thousand bucks to that, or how's it? Two thousand dollars to make it look pretty. <laughs> you know, paint the place, get a new awning, fix it up, make it look good. Yeah, you know, that kind of thing. Okay, low interest loans to install a sprinkler system, and this is for again for downtown properties. Okay, rental assistance for low income prop families, seniors, and disabled. Okay, so that looking for a friend or really help them. I mean, you, you're welcome to send this report to other people so they could use it because you know friends in the neighborhood. Okay, pay only 30% of your income in rent. That's a good and then a government program. $6,500 to weatherize your house uh, and so you could cut the utility bills. Okay, that's what that's all about. Low income rate assistance from Georgia Utility Company. So e, these are all the utility companies in Georgia that have special discounts, you know, for aging or low income and stuff like that. Okay, here's money to pay your utility bills, you know, and, and that happens every year. So even if you go to this website and they say there's no more, you have to come back next year. I mean, that's the way a lot of these work. So that's why you want to know about it. The people who know are the ones in line, and that's who get the dough. Yeah. Now here's something very important: two one one, and this is a. Uh, 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 it's like an 800 number, but it's a 211 number. Oh, I'm going the wrong way on my <laughs> searching there. Uh, 211. And that's a free source to find anything. In other words, it, it's terrific, I think, because he Googled the limitation is Google. Number one, you have to know exactly what you want. You want to find Lesko? Okay, you put in math, Lesko, and find the stuff. You want to find free money or, or grant money? You're going to find. 99, 44, 100% of the people that you're going to find are people going to sell you something. You know? Okay, so that's the problem with Google. It's really mean that people that sell you something. So, but the 211, you call them. See, it's really good to call them. They're a database of not anybody who's selling you anything. They only refer you to people who give out money for free or give out free services. So here, here's an example. So if you go to Google now and, and uh, put in mortgage, you're going to get, what do I have here? 127 million websites, 127 million websites. <laughs> you're not going to finish your life before you look at those things. Okay. Now you go to 211 and let's say you put in utility bill assistance. Okay. You, you get a list here of what kind of utility bill you need. You know, do you need a gas service payment assistance? You need a heating fuel payment assistance? You need water uh, payment as bill payment assistance? You know, all that is there like that. And there could be one to five to 10 people there, but everyone will be giving stuff away for free. Okay, mortgage pay payment assistance. Okay, here's five people who help you with mortgage payment assistance. Yeah, foreclosure prevention. There's two sources there. Home repair. Look at the people there, all kinds. You need somebody to paint your house. You need some uh, plumber, you need somebody to uh, help the roof or uh, house painting. See, this is there. Uh, and it's not somebody, <laughs> you know, a, a contract is going to get money. You know, these are nonprofit organizations or government programs. Okay, legal help. Okay, look at all the legal help. Man, there's two or three pages of these things when I did it. Yeah, hundreds of kind, different kinds of legal help. Uh, housing discrimination, guardians, uh, group advocacy, elder law, child support, you know, uh, veterans benefits, will preparation. Wow, that's all free legal help. Okay, free help with your garden and management consulting. It's really that financial consulting because this is the county cooperative extension service. I mean, you go to your local, you know, flower shop or, or garden shop or whatever, they're going to charge you a lot of money. These people do all this stuff for free. You know? and, and also, they a lot of them check your locally there. They have uh, uh, experts that help you with any kind of financial problem, too. Uh, so see if you have that. And, and the library, people are missing out on the library. Man, these people down there know so much about what's available in your area and people forget because it all oh, just go on the internet. No, go here, contact the reference librarian. They've been asked that question 10 times already by your neighbor, <laughs> who was the cheap sucker who, was going, who didn't want to pay for anything. So he went down there and found out. And so it makes those people smart. And then those people can now help you <laughs> to know where the best deals are. So th that's important to know. Uh, and then here we have, uh, uh, okay, the other thing the library has that a lot of people don't realize is that there are programs given by 
uh, nonprofit oriented. These are foundations. Okay, foundations are these big people who give out grants, big or organizations, billions of dollars. Okay, there's a couple hundred thousand of these people. See, and they give out grants mostly to nonprofits. So if you're a nonprofit, want to be a problem? There's some, there's about 10,000 grants to individuals. But the biggest thing is that to find those people, see, 90% of them are not on the website. You know, they don't have a website, so you're not going to find them. So this database from the Foundation Center is the way to find them. And what you do is contact your library, see if they have this database there, or what library in your area has them. One of them has to be there. And then you go over and the library shows you how to use it to find those people who are giving grants, you know, to help you. Uh, okay, let's see what we else have. Nonprofit organizations there, but mine help, money and help in other cities. I find this helpful. So that's why I just put it in there. You probably don't need it. Make an appointment with a housing counselor. Okay, these are housing counselors that are HUD approved. And the, the ones that are there in Savannah, they're free. You contact them, I wanna buy a house, I wanna do this with real estate, uh, even help you with your um, other financial problems, you're in debt, you owe money to people, stuff like that. Here's $25,000 for veterans to person, purchase and modify their home. Right, $25,000. So you can get part of that for the down payment and the other part to fix it up so it's good for you. Okay, free service that helps vets get 100%. If you're looking for more benefits from for veterans, go to this service because this service, look at this video here. It'll show you how people who use this service get twice as much money as anybody else. I mean, these people are great at getting vets money. Uh, and that's relatives of vets, you know, spouses and things like that. Free professional help on any aspect that of uh, real estate that may generate income you are actually anything you want to be a freelancer you're doing some contract work on the side you want to be a house flipper you want to use airbnb and have people you know you make money out of that from the airbnb website or whatever from your house or apartment or whatever and you don't know how to do accounting or or finances or taxes or legal stuff or they do all that for free. That's right. It's an incredible service. I used to, you know, I started learning all this stuff from my Fortune 500 companies, and I would go there, get all this stuff for free, and sell it to my clients for tens of thousands of dollars. And there's a video there that shows you about these people, and, and, and wow, they're just terrific. Okay, here's some cell phone deals. I, I'm afraid that people don't know for some reason. You know, and they're income dependent, free cell phones and 500 minutes a month, uh, another one 350 minutes a month, discount on low income landlines and cell phones, or how about, uh, you know, uh, Wi-Fi wi in your house for less than 10 bucks. I mean, that's neat. Okay, here, f uh, funding to build affordable housing. This is a, a special program in your area uh, that has money for people who want to build affordable housing. One stop for help for seniors, problems with seniors of housing. So your grandma, grandpa, yourself, you're 50 or more, something like that, and you have some kind of housing issue, this is a nonprofit that gets government money to help things like that. Okay, nonprofits that provide home buyer education classes, normally free, they're the people in your area there, uh, other nonprofits. Okay, state programs. If you come up with a thousand bucks, you could get $7,500 down payment money for a new home and low interest mortgage. That's right. That's right. All you need is a thousand bucks. Or grants to make your home more accessible for people with special needs. Or, or grants to make, uh, oh, I already read that one. <laughs> okay. Or right, here's 7,500 down uh, payment, down payment money and closing costs for people with disabilities. Okay, this is your state. Okay, now this is the most amazing thing I think I've heard. Zero percent interest forgivable loan Forgivable means like borrowing money from your dad. Oh, can I have a loan, dad? Yeah, and you never pay the sucker back. He knows you know, but <laughs> that's it. For 25 months of mortgage payment while you look for work. So you lost your job, don't have work. How are you gonna pay your mortgage? This is it. That's incredible. I, I, I don't know how this law came about. <laughs> it's because of the mortgage crisis, really. Okay, here's another one. 0% interest, and you get 12 months of past due mortgage. So if you have past due mortgage, man, contact these people. You know, and here's $75,000 to reduce your mortgage. Okay, you can't make your monthly payments. Now it's, you know, you know I don't know, $2,000 a month, and that's too much for you. Okay, now the government gives your mortgage people $45,000 to reduce your mortgage. So that's gonna reduce your payment, right? So now you're able to stay there. Man, wow, 
Incredible program. Government funding to develop affordable housing. Another one. So if you want to be a house flipper or an investment, money to pay utility bills and fixing and heating cooling systems. Uh, grant money to make your house more energy efficient. Reverse mortgages. That's right. There's a lot of uh, advertisement about this. And when you see a lot of advertising, that means somebody's making a lot of money on them because <laughs> they got to pay for that advertising. So these are boom for these people. And they're not necessarily good for people. So you got to find out. Now, how do you find out without just talking to a salesman who knows every trick in the book to get you to buy that sucker? <laughs> you got to talk to somebody independent. These people get grant money to help you for free. Okay, so they're not there to sell you anything. They have no skin in the game, as they say. Uh, so they don't have to push you one way or another. They're just trying to make sure that you make an informed decision. And you will if you have the right information. You won't make an informed decision if you're just listening to one side of the story every day. Like everybody who listens to right-wing radio all day and the other people listen to left-wing radio all day. They don't really have enough information to make an informed decision. <laughs> so it's the same thing with this. So uh, you need somebody in the middle there. Okay, local banks that put grant money in your savings account. These are programs that banks, yeah, call if you're, uh, see if you're qualified. If you put in a dollar savings account, they put in $3. Man, it's like free money falls out of the sky right into your bank account. Okay, federal programs, you have a mortgage now, call these people uh, because there are whole new programs out there to get your mortgage lower, and these people know about them. You go on Google, look for people to call, you're going to get somebody going to sell you something. These are houses at 50% discount for people. These are other homes for, HUD homes for sale. Uh, know about that, particularly want to get in that business of this kind of stuff. Okay, this is really for rural uh, areas. Um, so it'd be a little bit out of town, but this is uh, grants to fix up your house. Uh, another one are loans uh, to buy a house and then loan guarantees. Okay, so th that's basically the government programs. Remember, contact these people, even if there's a maybe, because the, and before you leave any of these organizations, you know, ask them where else. Okay, now I'm going to give you a breather, and we're going to come back and start with peer-to-peer -peer loans. This is getting out the fat cats in the middle and making more money and saving more money. So watch that. Okay, now let me go over some of the, let's say, non-government money sources and the non-money government sources <laughs> for housing. Okay, first is is peer peer-to-peer -peer loans. I mean, everybody knows that you know the traditional loans. You know, you go to the bank and and you know to give them money to lend to somebody other you know money, and they make a lot of money in the make middle. And if you go to the bank to borrow money, you get charged a lot. And if you go to the bank to save money, <laughs> you don't get much. So that's why these peer-to-peer -peer loans that are now popping up on their website, man, I think this is going to revolutionize everything. Not overnight, but it's growing. I mean, there's billions and billions of dollars now here, uh, and it's a place to get money without with cutting out the middleman. In other words, so if you go to a bank and, and put in a dollar or something, they're only giving you like 1% nowadays on, on your money. You know, and then if you go to borrow, they're charging you 10, 12% or something like that. So now on these peer-to-peer -peer loans, what happens is that uh, individuals go to the website and lend money to people, but in mass, so that you get 100 people lending you $10,000 or something like that. And so they're getting 3 or 4%, and you're only getting charged like 4, 5, 6%, 7% or something like that. So that's right, everybody's winning, you know, except the fat cats on Wall Street, who are the investors in the banks, you know. And it makes it just a lot more personal and everything. So that's why I think there's a lot of reasons why this is going to grow. So I got some of the more popular ones. A lot of them, these are for businesses and things like that, for small businesses, large businesses, and, uh, that people use them, individual loans. Uh, and see, what's neat about this stuff is that it, it, it's so much easier. It's faster. 
you know, and also here's the banks, you know, for community development uh, financial institutions. These banks are banks, but they're friendly community banks, like the old ones in the movies, you know, what was that movie with Jimmy Stewart, you know, <laughs> uh, where he had a little community bank and everybody was borrowing money from them and the bank was going to go bankrupt and everybody's going to lose their house. Well, that's how these banks work, you know, they're involved in the community, not, they're not invested because of, you know, they have to uh, make people on Wall Street happy, it's the community. So that's why they're friendlier, they're nicer, they're lower interest rate. Okay, also you can make a lot of money from your home from the shared economy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you read about this, but this is really taking over so much of our, our world now because of the internet. It's a way people are using the internet to do things themselves, make extra money, cut out middlemen, you know, nothing's traditional anymore. This is why more people are earning money, you know, part-time on the internet and stuff like that than traditional jobs now, it seems. And that seems to be the way things are going. And they're piecing together different kinds of income. Well, now with a home, that's, that's an asset. You become now a capitalist because you own a home or even rent an apartment or anything. You could act like a capitalist <laughs> and make money from the fact that you own a home, not just your labor, you know, or you're at a home or you have a place, you know, and one way is through Airbnb. I don't know if you know about this. This is like instead of hotels, people are using Airbnb. This only started like five years ago or so, you know, and, and now they're they're a bigger company than any of the big hotel chains. They're they're probably the most valuable company. That, <laughs> they're more valuable than any hotel chain. They're something like $50 billion now. It depends on who you count, some like 40 or whatever. I mean, Hyatt Hotels is only like 13 billion. But see, what's interesting about Airbnb, they have only like two or 3,000 employees. Hyatt Hotel has like 130,000 employees or something like that. Yeah. But Airbnb, is making money for like a million people and now i've read like a million and a half people so it's a way to make money like we make a bunch of money off our apartment that we have in washington dc just because we have an apartment you know we put on airbnb and see these platforms take care of everything you don't have to worry about collecting money you don't have to worry about insurance you don't have to worry about marketing they do it all you know and it's amazing and so now it's sort of like becoming a uh entrepreneur with training wheels or something like that you know? it's a great way so now because you have a home you know uh, you have an extra room you can make money I mean, people are making five hundred dollars a month or whatever you know, off an extra room uh people are, are putting tents in their backyard even and renting that out uh, actually it's called airbnb because, because people started with an air mattress in their living room renting that out yeah and, and so there's all ways to make money look at that i got an article there about how to use it or, or how to be an airbnb host or how to how to get money it costs you nothing to try see that's the other thing none of this stuff now costs any money to try to make money at. That's what's neat. Most of these, you know, schemes or whatever that were on the internet and everything, they wanted money from you. That's how they made money, was getting money from you. You know, here it costs nothing to try. And you only give them a small percent after you get the money. And they collect the money, they check out the money. You know, they do all, all the hard, you know, uh, nonsense stuff you know that most of us don't like doing and that's why this is growing so fast okay another way through pets pets is another way and i'll show you how to how do that people make a hundred thousand i mean a thousand dollars a month or so extra because they have another puppy around or something like that for a few days you know and, and because there's a growing business in the pet business there's a website show you how to do it you know and and, and just sign up and so sign up and see what happens you know if you have room you don't have to be a house owner or, you know you can be a renter or an apartment renter and do this make money from your parking space Space when you're not using it that's right just park <laughs> people space i mean that's a you're, you're like a wall street fat cat making your money make money so here you can make your assets make money that's what's neat about it or here's one for pet lovers there's more about pet lovers. or have people over for dinner right and make money people from out of town love to have local people you know and this has now become a big business so if you like cooking for people <laughs> you can make money at it have friends over for dinner it's not thousands of people like you know a bus drives up to your house you know a nice couple or two couples from yeah <laughs> from somewhere you never heard of <laughs> have dinner with you <laughs> and they're happy to spend money <laughs> that's it and here's another thing is crowdfunding that's another thing you know to make money um uh, and i'll show you soon in real estate but but it's used for anything 
anything. This is now one of the biggest things that's up to $34 billion or whatever they're given last year. And it costs nothing. You don't have to pay the money back. It's free to do. See, that's nothing. All this stuff is free. No income requirements, no credit check. You know, you keep the money forever. No complicated business forms, no business plans, no lawyers, no accountants. All this stuff, when you go out and try to get money for doing anything, that's what you usually had to do. It's fast, you know, and there's no fat cat gatekeepers. Nobody say, well, you can't do this. You know, and nobody's going to buy this. Nah, it doesn't matter. You go on the crowds, and the crowds tell you, and it costs nothing to do that. So you know for sure, you know, uh, and you don't do it until they give you the money. Now, I have a, I have a video there shows you how to set up a, a website. You have to remember it costs nothing. Some of these websites only take 20, 30 minutes to do. I have samples of people do this, you know, uh, startup money. They get like a half a million dollars, and they don't even need a product no product hey i'm gonna do this you guys interested <laughs> and if they say yes they give money and then you collect enough money okay i got enough to do it now i'll come back next year send you the product well, that's crazy isn't it i mean would you go to macy's and have them <laughs> walk in here's money i'll pick back next year and pick up the product that's what people are doing on the internet why doesn't matter why it's there <laughs> you you're looking for a way to survive this is a tool these are all tools tools now in our society there's dozens of people here i show you my videos here. So i've interviewed like 700 people have done this yeah. uh, also now you could use it for buying a home too crowdfunding money now here i have some articles what i did is i took articles that are out there that i reviewed and everything uh they seem a good place to understand how to do it for, for buying a property, fixing up property, and things like that, how doing it. Then I show you uh, websites that are just for that. I mean, the major websites, if you heard of like Indiegogo or um, uh, GoFundMe and places like that, you know, they're not specific for, for housing. But these that I show you are for housing. So that's sort of interesting. You try both. I don't know what works. Nobody knows what works. You can ask all the advice you want. And, and until you try it, you really don't know. Okay. And also for investments. People want to flip homes. That's a big idea nowadays. Well, crowdfunding you could use for that. People are doing that now. Even the, the, the big time, you know, flippers or whatever. <laughs> flippers. Wasn't that a TV show or something? Or <laughs> whatever. And uh, uh, they're using it. because. It's a new way. It's a faster way. It's a better way. <laughs> it's a fun way to get the money you need. Instead of talking to some stuffy banker, you know, uh, and that's what they have a video of, of a woman who runs one of these sites, you know, that people use for flipping houses and things like that. A couple articles and like, and then I show you other websites that do, to, do that. Now, another thing that people really, meetups. Meetups are very popular now, you know, that, that people get together in groups and talk about stuff or whatever. Well, now, I mean, you go to any city, I mean, there's a hundred, they're, they're like AA meetings, you know? but they're for everything. I mean, you go down, uh, uh, I did it for your city, I did one, and, and you just put in like business and uh, careers or something, and you'll see dozens and dozens, depending on the city, how many there are. And find one for real estate investors. There'll be one, there'll be two, there'll be a dozen, there'll be 20, there'll be 50 or whatever. And just show up. Eh, it costs $20 for a cheap meal or something like that. You know, and that's it. But you find other real estate investors. If you don't know about this stuff, what you're probably doing is going online and, and searching Google, you know, and looking for how to invest in real estate or something. And, and you'll get some huckster like me who will try to sell you something. <laughs> and you don't have to do that. You know, and why? Because then it's painful it costs a lot of money they have courses now thousands of dollars worth donald trump was selling them for like twenty thousand dollars or something how to invest in real estate you go to a meetup <laughs> and actually by the way he started his whole uh empire with a uh, uh government property in cincinnati yeah <laughs> the ones i showed you about up uh, uh, earlier and and so you could go to these groups and find out how other people are doing it then you have a friend who's in the business who's doing it other people like that that could help you know exactly what's going on in your area because they pro probably already tried it and failed so that's a better way to learn you know, than spending thousands of dollars on, on some course or whatever, and, and who the hell knows what you get. You know, <laughs> Trump's getting sued like hell out of these things. Yeah, I mean, all that. I was involved and I saw this stuff happening, all these get-rich-quick schemes. <laughs> you know, it just takes effort. And the knowledge is there.
Uh, and it's just putting it to work and trying and trying and trying. Oh, here's another thing. It's fat cats, angels. And you could go, I mean, what's neat about the internet too is that it, it, it's getting everybody in a barrel. So all these fat cats that are out there want to invest in stuff, they're now all online. They're looking mostly, most of these websites, I'll show you like angels.co, uh, they, they they're looking for companies or techie stuff or some kind of small business going. But real estate, I'm sure they'd be interested. You got to find somebody, but at least you have like here for your state, you know, there's over seven, you know, there's four or 5,000 people in your state, fat cats interested in investing in ideas they're right there. Wow. I mean, they're, uh, all their contact information is there. I mean, before when I was growing up, you had to you know, belong to the country club or something like that to find uh, help like this or, or get in touch with these people or beat on them or whatever it is. And there's other websites that have similar kind of thing. And then here's what I put in. This is where, you know, government offices that, well, they don't give out money, but they can get your money back. Yeah, you know, because so many people get screwed nowadays. You know, uh, people who don't treat you right and stuff like that. I mean, uh, or you don't know your rights, and everybody thinks you have to spend five hundred dollars an hour or two hundred dollars an hour, whatever lawyers cost anymore, and you know to get justice, but you don't. You could get the best attorneys in the world to work for you for free. You just have to learn the system, and they're there, and they have to fight for you. That's what they're there for because they regulate that industry. So it's the cops. See, every business, everybody has cops that they have to report to and you find those cops and they come down and even if you, the customer, are wrong, they have to investigate anyway. So uh, uh, that's what's thing. So you have power in the system this way. Otherwise, if you don't know about this, you have no power to me. Because you have to spend, you know, five hundred, a thousand, two thousand dollars on a lawyer to get back at somebody because they'll just say, No, I'm sorry, or whatever, and get a letter from their lawyer and and their lawyers, even if you get your lawyers, are gonna be better than your lawyer. You go, they do this all the time, you know. But nobody's good. It's sort of like you getting a letter from the IRS that you owe them you know, seventy five dollars. Well, even if the IRS is wrong, you probably pay them, right? <laughs> Just to get it off your back. Well for business it's the same way. You know, the insurance company gets a letter that you they owe you five hundred dollars or you say they owe them five hundred dollars. It's cheaper to pay you the five hundred dollars than to talk to that bureaucracy for the next three months or whatever the hell it is and possibly lose and, and be fined or be thrown out of business. They have too much to lose by screwing with the government. It's easier to pay you off. So banks are that way. Real estate brokers are that way. You know, insurance companies are that way. You know, even lawyers. Yeah, you know, <laughs> there's even a pot of money. You know, in your state capital for lawyers who ran off with your money. <laughs> so we all that. And then how to check for any uh, any professional. And then also there's a, a national bill with the Federal Trade Commission that uh, you could get, if, if bill collectors don't treat you nicely, you could get $1,000 from them. That's right, get $1,000 from them. i show you how to do that. Oh, you could, it's something you could threaten from. You know, when they say, hey, do you know you're violating the law? Here's the law, look it up, and here's what I'm gonna pursue. And then I show you how to get free research help on anything. Now, Google is a, a problem. It's good, it handles a lot of stuff, but you really have to know exactly what you're looking for. Like up earlier, we talked about, you know, you put in, uh, mortgage debt, and you'll get 170 million websites or whatever, and that's why um, it's just overwhelming. You don't know exactly what to ask for. Now, it's great if you know what to ask for. You're looking for Matthew Lesko, right? <laughs> then you could find everybody like me. But if you're looking for money to solve a problem and you do that, then Matthew Lesko will probably find you because if I spend a lot of money on Google, I want to find people who have that question. And I'm going to spend a lot of money on Google because I know I can maybe get money from you. See, and that's what Google's all about. If it's a place to spend money. If you want to spend money doing something, Google, because everybody who wants to get money from you spends a lot of time and energy and money trying to figure out Google, how to make sure you see them when you go to Google. Yeah, so that's what those first two videos are all about. Uh, and then I tell you about 211.org, uh, the organization I list up in, in, in above. This is, I mean, these are wonderful because this is a database of all nonprofit and government offices that solve problems. So nobody in their database will charge you a penny. Wow.
And I, I call him the second best in the, in the world because I feel I'm the best because I'll show you a lot more because I understand more of these things <laughs> yeah, yeah, than they do. Uh, uh, but this is a wonderful source. And I turn to it finding something and checking things. So even on reports, if I, if I miss something or whatever, they don't have a lot of stuff I have. because I, I, I somehow have a knack of taking something that they give and they don't see how it can be used for some reason like houses for a dollar you know they used to call it the urban homesteading act you know so if you saw urban homesteading act you would know what the hell it was right it's a house for a dollar right <laughs> so, okay your local library people don't for, yeah, forget about that that's wonderful they'll do research for you they know experts particularly local sources for money and help uh and then your elected official watch this video there we have on on how to use your elected official because they are the most important source that we all have and they'll work for you for free they want to do this for free because if they help you with something you'll vote for them no matter what they do you know <laughs> they get caught with their hand in a cookie jar and was, as long as they got you a fifty thousand dollar grant or something you'll still vote for them probably <laughs> and they know that this is why they stay in business all their staff is aimed at doing favors for constituents, people like you who are going to vote. And they want to do that. And they have special access to government offices that you and I don't. You and I have to go in the front door. These people have a backdoor phone number to call because the government office gets paid from the congressmen and senators, the elected officials. That's where they get their money. They don't get it from us. We give it to the government and then Congress decides how to spend it. So that's why they keep everybody in Congress happy. So they, they'll, they'll answer a question and solve the problem a lot faster from them than they were with you or me. That's just the way the world works. <laughs> may not be right, may not be you know, justice or whatever, but that's what it is. And it's a system we all have access to it no matter who we are in this country. And that's what I'm trying to do is make sure everybody knows what's available and how to use it because if you don't you're going to go on google and think that's reality when it's not man there's so much there for us all if we just start using it